This video is just a quick addendum to another Headamp 6 Pro uh, demo review video that I did. In that video, I forgot to mention one really great feature of the Art Headamp 6 Pro, and that's the ability to have pass-through of your audio through the Headamp 6 Pro without it even being turned on. You'll notice it's powered off right now. You can see right there it's powered off. And I have my 11 rack outputs hooked up to the Headamp 6 Pro. So let's head to the back and I'll show you how it's hooked up. Here we are at the back of the Headamp 6 Pro. This is it right here on top. And you can see I have the balance main inputs. Those are right here. And those balance main inputs are actually hooked up to the output right here, the main output of the 11 rack. So the main output of the 11 rack or whatever your interface may be. But the main output will then run into the balance main inputs right here and my monitors are plugged into the balance main through of the Headamp 6 Pro. Now of course usually you have your monitors plugged into the main output of your 11 rack or again whatever interface you may have. But because I'm using a headphone amp I want to run my signal from my interface into the Headamp 6 Pro so I'm able to make my headphone mixes and then the output from my interface that gets run through the Headamp 6 Pro then goes out also, or through actually, it goes through to my monitors so we can actually get sound. So we'll check that out real quick. Now here we are back on the front of the unit. You'll notice that the Headamp 6 Pro is off, okay? And I can still control my volume with my main volume here on my interface, which again, in my case, it's an 11 rack. I have Pro Tools pulled up here. I have Sample Tank inserted on a track and a few MIDI patterns. So I'll just hit play here in Pro Tools and then that audio is going to be sent out of Pro Tools into my 11 rack and then that runs through the Headamp 6 Pro. Again, it's powered off and that runs through the Headamp 6 Pro and out to my monitors so we can actually hear those sound waves. Again, a really great feature. It doesn't even have to be powered on. Let me go ahead and hit play. You can hear it. so pretty cool we heard all of that coming through our monitors without even having to power on our head amp 6 pro of course we could power it on if we wanted to and then we could you know hit play on pro tools you can see i'm getting a little bit of signal here i can go ahead and adjust my main volume all right so there you go you can use your head amp 6 pro without actually having to turn it on when you know if you're sitting by yourself you're not gonna need six headphone mixes. More than likely your interface is gonna have a headphone port like mine does, so I don't need the Headamp 6 Pro all the time. So I might as well leave it off, save the energy, and just use the uh, included headphone port on my 11 rack. And if you have an 11 rack, this of course means you can simply plug your guitar right into the guitar input. We don't need Pro Tools open for this. Again, the Art headphone amp is completely turned off. I just have my 11 rack editor open. I'll simply plug my guitar in, and then I can simply play the guitar. All right, again, headphone amp completely off, just the 11 rack, the audio running through the 11 rack. Again, Pro Tools closed. So just the 11 rack, sending that audio out of the 11 rack through our Headamp 6 Pro, and that goes out to our monitors. So there you go, that's the pass-through feature of the Headamp 6 Pro by ours. I'm really, really pleased with this headphone amplifier and highly suggest it if you're in the market 